to demonstrate how you can solve a model and solve dynamic decision problems, I'm going to use the following example. And Magnolia is a hotel chain that uh, is planning to build a new hotel near a new airport. However, the authorities have not yet decided where the new airport will be. All we know is that there are two possible locations and that the airport will certainly will build will, certainly will be built in one of those two locations but uh, the decision will not be made for some time and uh, land values around both uh, possible sites for both possible locations for the new airport are increasing as investors speculate that property values will increase greatly in the vicinity of the new airport and uh, for now, I'm going to ignore the last point, which is the, the, the one about probabilities. You see the data of this problem in this table here. So we have two parcels of land that we identified. One is near location A of the airport, uh, potential uh, location of the airport, and the other is near location B, which is another potential location. At currently... We can buy the, par the parcel for um, $18 million near location A and $12 million near location B. And we have done a lot of analysis to determine present value of all future cash flows if a hotel and the airport are built at the same location. So if we choose location A and the airport is actually at location A, the present value of all future cash flows will be 31 million plus 31, so we will actually make a nice profit. However, if the location A is not chosen and we invest in 18 millions, then all the um, value, present value of all future um, sales price uh, of the parcel um, will be only 6 million, so we will have a significant loss. And similar values here are provided for location B. So the first thing that uh, we need to understand here in order to try and model this problem is what kind of decisions uh, are uh, available. So the obvious uh, thing is that we need to decide whether we, uh, we buy land uh, at some parcels or not. But what are exactly our options? Right? So we need to list those exactly. So let's say I will put here going to scroll a little bit here and start a table and I will say land purchase at location right and so of, co of course I can buy land at location A or I can buy land at location B right and um, and it seems that there's one more obvious option which I'm going to choose which will be also by neither right or none, none of the locations let's just put none uh, right, but there is one more option that you might realize is that maybe maybe it's it's very expensive, but at the same time maybe it's a valid option that we should consider, which is buying on both locations A and B. So let me first list A and B as one option and none. And I hope you will see that assuming that the company has enough funds, we could actually buy both locations for a total of thirty million dollars, and then uh, hopefully. Uh, right, I mean, one of those locations will be chosen, in which case if it's A, we'll get this, and for, B, for location B, we'll only get the uh, uh, salvage value of 4 million, but if it's B, we'll get this, and here salvage value, and perhaps this option will, will be um, attractive from a certain perspective. So these are our land pur purchase decisions. This is a single decision. Let me just format this a little bit. And then... Uh, Right, and then we have to see what are we going to be affected by, and the uh, the, the value that we will uh, obtain at the end of this decision problem will depend on our decision, but also it will depend on the location where the airport is built. So I'm going to just say here at the bot at the top, airport is built at location, and it may be A, oops, A or B, right? And, um, and I hope you see that, um, that this is what is going to affect our payoff. And in fact, now, our final payoff will depend on both of those. Our decision, which comes first, 
And, right, because these prices are now, the land will be much more expensive later, so it's, uh, we're not considering buying later. Um, and, um, and then this, this uh, event, which is, which is uncertain. Um, this kind of uh, problem is sometimes called a game against nature because the airport location is not going to be chosen uh, to please us or to punish us. Right? It's, uh, if you compare it to, for example, a game of chess. In a game of chess, you play against an opponent who wants to win, and the, the, the winning of the, your opponent means you, you will lose. So your opponent will make the worst possible moves from your perspective f- for you, right? Those moves that will hurt you. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, when you play, uh, when you have a game against nature, as we call it, uh, you, you play against something that does not favor you or does not... Uh, does not try to punish you in any way, right? So it's like a rain. A rain, it, it rains just because it rains. It doesn't rain um, in order to make you wet or it isn't sunny just uh, in order to, to make you feel warm. It just happens randomly. And in this example, we will also assume that the airport is built at location A or B randomly and it's not uh, uh, affected or is not correlated in any way to what uh, we're to the decision that we are taking. So to complete the payoff table, we have to actually determine the the, uh, the actual payoff values. So we now need to realize what will happen if I make a decision to buy land, right? And let me change this at location A, uh, and the airport is built at location A. What will be the the total value, present value of future cash flows? Or, or current cash flows that I will have. And I hope you see that we will get 31 million because this is the right location that uh, afterwards we rec- will recognize in this, in this one possible uh, final uh, situation. Uh, minus 18. So we'll get 31 million minus 18 million of cost that we currently uh, right. Uh, incur. So we will get 13 millions. However, if this is the case, if we buy at location A and the airport is actually built at location B, then we will get only 6 million, right? It's a wrong location. We bought A, but the airport is not at this location. We only get 6 million and of course we pay the negative 18. So our payoff is negative 12, indicating that this is a loss of 12 million dollars. Um, The same logic we can apply to location B. Let's start here from this, right? This is a successful move. If we buy at location B, we obtain, and the airport is at location B, the future cash flows will be plus 23 million minus the cost of purchasing location B, which is 12, right? So we'll get 11 million. And this one, we buy at B, but the airport is not near location B. It's near location A, so we will actually get only 4 million and our cost is 12 million. So again, it's a negative one. So you see it's a risky game. We can actually lose a lot. Now let's see uh, locations, both locations, A and B. So to realize what the, uh, the cost will obviously be both of those, right? In, in both ca- cases, we purchase both locations A and B. So we incur the cost of both. But uh, what are the profits? So here, if we have both locations, we will get both, right? Uh, at, when the airport is at location A, we get 31 million just for having parcel at location A, and we get 4 million for having parcel at location B, which is the wrong one, and we subtract the cost 18 and subtract cost 12, right? So I, I basically combine uh, four numbers here, two, uh, revenues and two costs, right? And then, so this is five million. And then, in this case, we, we the location B is the right location. So I get twenty three million for a location B, and I get six million for location A only. And then I subtract eighteen and subtract twelve again. So here we get a loss of one million, right? So this is actually a much less risky option with, of course, a higher initial investment. So this assumes we have enough um, credit or capital uh, in order to to purchase both pieces of land. land. But um, 
it is much less risky at best. At, in the worst case, we will lose $1 million. And if we buy none of the, neither of the locations, right, uh, the actual value is zero. Let me just center those. Right, so you see, um, so basically this uh, table summarizes our uh, options. Uh, the decision that we have, the decisions are here in rows. There is four alternatives we have to choose. A, B, A and B, or none. And uh, the chance that will affect us is where the airport will be built, at location A or at location B. And then you see both of those will affect what value we get. If the airport is at location A and we chose B, we'll get minus 8 and so on. We can... Uh, describe every possible situation here. So this is the payoff table. That's actually right here. Payoff table. Right? The payoff table inside the numbers denote how much value each of those options provides, the payoff of each um, decision chance combination. 